And this is lab number 10, you can tell them. This is lab number 10, guys. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to talk about the kidneys as Devin gets super adjacent for the my private space. All right, so we're going to talk about the kidney today. So we're going to start off with, let me get my pointy cotton swab. We have the capsule, which is this part right here. Kind of the outer covering of the kidney is going to be called the capsule. Then we have the cortex, which is this area right here. This kind of outside area, this region right here, is going to be called the cortex. And then the more inner region right here is going to be called the medulla. So this is going to be called the medulla right here. And these little triangle looking things are going to be your renal pyramids, these things right here. It's going to be all your renal pyramids. And then you have your minor calyx, which is this part right here. These are going to be your minor calyx, calyx and they form a major calyx, kind of like down right here. So this would be major calyx. And then this region of your uh, kidney would be called your renal pelvis. And it leads to this renal pelvis leads to an opening called the hilum, which is right here. It's going to be an opening that all these things are passing through. And then this down here would be your ureter. So a uh, kind of zoomed in version of this part right here is down here where we're able to see uh, some renal corpuscles, which are these things right here. And then right off of them is going to be these right here, which are going to be your uh, proximal convoluted tubules are going to be here, right here. You see one right here, and again right here. And that's going to lead to the loop of Henle, which is going to be this region right here. And then the loop of Henle leads to the distal convoluted tubule, which is what I say is about right here. This stuff is going to be your distal convoluted tubule. You can see another one right here, and another one over here. And then those are going to lead to your collecting duct which is this region right here. This is gonna be your collecting duct right here. And then if you wanna do an even more zoomed in version of the real corpuscles, we can go over here and we can see a, the outside layer of this is gonna be your Bowman's capsule. And then this kind of whole thing, this plus this is gonna be your glomerulus. These are like capillaries. So, and these are called podocytes right here. These little things are going to be put aside. So this plus this, these things together uh, make up your glomerulus. And that's it for that one. If you want to look at some things on here, you can kind of see the renal pyramids right here, cortex, medulla. Uh, we can see the minor calyxes right here, which will go down here to form a major calyx with the renal pelvis leading out the hilum to the ureter right here. That is all it for the kidneys. Cut to A. All right, so now <laughs> we're gonna talk about, we're gonna look at the kidney again on a dissected kidney. So right here, again with the outer layer, we've got the cortex. This outer layer is gonna be called the cortex. In here, we have the medulla region. If you look really closely, you can kind of see the renal pyramids like right here, uh, right here. You can see the renal pyramid. We have the minor calyx right here. Going down, you can see uh, kind of the renal pelvis in this region right here. You can see the renal pelvis leading to the hilum, which is the opening that all these are passing to, uh, which leads to your ureter, which is going to be this thing, this kind of tube right here. This is going to be your ureter. And then the outside region, once again, of your kind of the outside layer covering of your kidney right here is going to be your capsule on the most superficial region of your kidney. That is all it for the kidney.